On Thursday, Christine Baumgartner, the separated spouse of actor Kevin Costner, sobbed on the witness stand as she described the couple's extravagant $11 million annual lifestyle, which includes a $175 million beachfront property and a 160,000-acre ranch near Aspen. Last month, 49-year-old Christine Baumgartner relocated from the seaside home to a nearby $40,000 per month rental home. She claims that although being opulent, the new house does not offer her children a comparable lifestyle and is therefore asking for additional funds to purchase a home that is more than a home. It's an experience similar to the marital property. She calmly guided the court through a sequence of images of Kastner's $175 million cop interior property, including images of the bleachwood deck, an infinity pool overlooking the beach, a chicken co-op, and two guest cottages. She was wearing a pair of white-framed glasses that she had adjusted. Interior photos display furnishings that were chosen to reflect what she referred to as California living with brightly colored striped rugs, tan leather couches, a sizable marble table with dark oak chairs, and an ocean view. Baumgartner, who gave her name as Kastner to the court, also described the family's active lifestyle, which includes volleyball, fishing, scuba diving, and regular surfing. Caden, their 16-year-old son, owns a boat and the family has a sizable collection of surfboards, wetsuits, and paddleboards that are kept in a special area just for them. The Cop Interior property is made up of five different lots, one of which is a former neighbor's house that was bought in 2016, and is now utilized as a guest house as well as a location for hosting family gatherings and sitting by the fire and roasting marshmallows. Baumgartner's attorney John Riddle mentioned the staggering figures in his opening remarks, telling the court that Kostner earns more than $1.4 million every month. The Dancers with Wolves actor listed his monthly living expenditures at $240,000 during his deposition two weeks ago, but he wants to pay his ex no more than $60,000 each month. Riddle also discussed the family's opulent lifestyle while they were in Aspen, Colorado, saying how the ranch had numerous canoes and fishing lakes in addition to sledding routes that are lit up at night and have music piped through the trees. Riddle claims that the house is being rented out for a staggering $50,000 per day. Later that morning, Baumgartner revealed further information about the family's extravagant lifestyle including Christmas parties where they transported 40 tons of snow to a 10-acre property they also own nearby expressly for the occasion. Baumgartner outlined how they would construct toboggan slopes and hire all the animals from the stable in Bethlehem for the children to ride, in addition to a fertry forest. She said that they would set 40 tents for their son Caden and his buddies and hire taco trucks to serve food for birthday camping occasions where they also use the plot. Although Kostner exhibited great composure for the majority of her testimony, she occasionally showed signs of emotion and broke down in tears when the subject of the couple's Aspen Ranch came up. As a result, the court was forced to adjourn for a five-minute break. In addition, Josh Connor, whom Baumgartner referred to as a family friend, talked to an irritated Baumgartner about her two most recent trips to Hawaii, which she took in March and July. Longtime Kastner friend Connor, who resides in Santa Barbara, recently got divorced from his wife Patricia. Jill Bombino, a financial expert, was the day's last witness. She informed the jury that Kostner earned an average of $1,468,953 each month in 2021 and 2022. Baumgartner, on the other hand, only receives $1,834 a year in interest on a lump sum of $400,000 deposited in an investment account. Bombino claimed that she utilized the numbers to arrive at Baumgartner's desired monthly child support payment of $161,000, which her team claims is the amount of Kastner's income Baumgartner is required to pay under California law. 
The sum includes the money that Costner received for the immensely popular television program Yellowstone. Attorneys for Baumgartner had earlier charged him of playing a game that Yellowstone doesn't exist and excluding it from his own calculations. It shouldn't be included, according to Costner's counsel, because Yellowstone's payments are not assured to continue. Costner claimed in court documents that his estranged wife had a love relationship with him. But when Baumgartner's attorney directly asked her if he was her boyfriend, she strongly denied it. When questioned about the $20,000 Connor handed her, the 49-year-old responded that $10,000 had been given to her mother because she was worried about her house, and the remaining $10,000 had been provided to her. She sobbed as she acknowledged that Costner had been paying her mother $5,000 per month for years, but the payments had ceased after their divorce. Since then, according to Baumgartner, she has routine the additional $10,000 to Connor because I don't need it right now. When Costner's defense team continually cited elements of her new home that were present in the marital residence during cross-examination, the mother of three became angry. They are attempting to demonstrate that the assets are comparable and that she is not in need of the $161,592 in monthly child support payments. The amount was changed from the $175,000 she had requested and was handed to the court on Thursday morning. Costner, looking smart in a fitted beige suit, sneaked in through a side door to the hearing along with his soon-to-be ex-wife. Despite a gloomy day in Santa Barbara, Baumgartner chose to wear a grey suit, sunglasses, and half-pulled-up hair. Judge Thomas Andrew will preside over today's hearing which is expected to span two days and take place in Santa Barbara, California. The bitterly divorcing couple had been married for 19 years until his gorgeous wife filed for divorce in May, citing his demanding job. Costner was supposedly blindsided by the decision. Since then, the couple has been exchanging blows on issues such as who will live where, whether or not their prenuptial agreement is still legitimate and how much money Baumgartner wants for child support. The mother of three first requested $248,000 in monthly child support, which Costner, 68, claimed he was against. She is now requesting an increase to $175,000 a month after receiving a much lower award in order to give her children a comparable standard of living while they are living with her. She described how the kids travel by private plane, stay in a vast $145 million beachside estate when they're with their father, and take lavish vacations in court documents. Following a legal battle, Baumgartner left the marital house last month. She claims her new Montecito rental home, which costs $40,000 a month, is not comparable to the one she left behind. Unlike Kevin's Beach Club compound, the September rental is on the mountain side of the motorway according to a legal document submitted to the court last week. It has no scenic view, is not within walking distance of the beach, and does not have access to the beach. The Dancers with Wolf Star's $400 million fortune was further detailed in a legal document that also demanded expenses paid by you, or any person at your request or on your behalf relating to any extramarital romantic relationships. Baumgartner claims that Costner made $11 million for the fourth season of the popular television show Yellowstone, or $1.1 million for each episode, and asks if Costner will return. He received $10 million for season 5, or $1.25 million per episode, as he is entitled to a percentage of profit participation from the show. Costner will continue to earn money from Yellowstone even if he leaves, according to the brief, irrespective of his participation in season 6 or beyond. The request is proposed only for purposes of harassment, is overbroad as to time period and subject matter, budensome, oppressive and impermissibly compound. According to Costner's legal team, which is led by Hollywood divorce lawyer Laura Warser, the request made by Christine and her solicitors, according to his lawyers, 
is not relevant to the subject matter because the former couple has no community property related to their divorce. In addition, Costner's team stated that he does not know for a fact if Christine engaged in any extramarital romantic relationships prior to separation, and, if so, whether she spent any of his money or charged any expenses for her affairs on credit cards he paid. Kevin has no responsive documentation regarding extramarital romantic relationships in which he engaged since he engaged in known, the actor's legal team claimed. As part of the multi-day evidentiary hearing on Baumgartner's request for child support, at which time the court will receive evidence regarding Costner's gross cash flow available for support and anticipated future income. More information about Costner's financial situation is anticipated to be heard in court today. Prior to the hearing and full trial that is slated for later this year, the two were seen being photographed when they arrived at the Santa Barbara courthouse on August 19 to take depositions.